We're at the State Park just outside of a West Texas town of San Angelo. I'm going to run you through some of my favourite things that I use, if not on a daily basis, but a weekly basis. They've stood the test of time over the year. I have a particular mental order about how I organise and set things up. Everyone's different. It might be entertaining for you to see a little peek inside my world and how I organise things for the maintenance. That's the back of the truck, so we'll get inside and I'll run you through a little bit of a detail of how I set things up and for why. Right, that's the back of the F-250. Now the things that I use on a regular basis are obviously behind me and the things that I need but don't mind scrabbling for then I'll put at the front and obviously weight distribution comes into play there so at the top left hand you'll see everything that I need to quickly get out and change a tire on the trailer so there's some three ton jack stands a four-way there's a set of deep sockets there's a really nice jack set up in there, a torque wrench, and just a big extension bar. This is my Honda generator, 2200i. In the next few years, it'll come into its own. Lovely and quiet, and uh, easy to start. I have a big Husky toolbox with all those tools and a few spares for my suspension system that I'm obviously gonna need to get to. There's a bunch of flares there. I'm gonna get rid of those and get the LEDs type, that's probably a little safer. Bit of poly pipe and a block. Now I become attached to various things and these are insane. They fit perfectly for driving out the inner bush, sorry, bearing and the seal for changing out or repacking your wheel bearings. Big six, uh, six ton set of axle stands. If you're trying to save money, or you like doing your own maintenance then you need to be safe and you need to make sure that everything is adequately uh, propped up. Over in the left hand side now uh, we started carrying uh, five gallons of extra diesel and some extra petrol for running the generator. Sometimes I carry full totes of water so that's one on the left hand side there'll be one on the reciprocating right hand side of that that's just how I load out don't necessarily carry water and when those jerry cans aren't in use they fit nice and flat on the two tote boxes at the front. I keep both of these hoses and systems separate. The blue hose with the filter is for our fresh water and everything to do with the black and grey tanks are in the black bin because that's just the way my brain works. 17 inch Blackstone barbecue. I'm not barbecuing lately because it's too cold. But this has copped an absolute pizzling over the year and it works fine. Just have to re-season it every now and then. It sits on top of the big husky toolbox. What have we got here? Yoga mats. Right, I don't do yoga. But if you line underneath a van for any length of time, you will know that it gets very uncomfortable. So I got two yoga mats here. They protect the inside of the bed. They protect me when I'm doing maintenance. The black tank flush hose and obviously it's black and it lives its own separate pot and I always have nitrile gloves with me. I always wear gloves when I'm doing the tank work. We don't want to get sick on the road. It's, it's just an inconvenience that we don't need. Um, I do have the Anderson trailer jack blocks. I've just purchased those. They hopefully will last me longer than some of the other Lego bricks. They've all started to crack. Next thing that I love using, and we use all the time, they take up no space, is um, these two folding steps. The spare bucket, 90% of the time it sits there over my tongue jack. Keep some of the rain and the water off it. Um, oh yes, sorry, I'll get out of the shade. Yeti cup. Yeti cup. Everybody loved the Yeti cup. We put hot coffee in those and they can last us for quite a bit of the day supping on them. We've got those and we've got the big, big ones to put our adult beverage in, which for me is sodi pop. Yeah, that's the new BAL high despair that I fitted when I was in Livingstone around the Christmas period because I had a spare tire in the back of the truck. Got two spares underneath this thing and everything seems to be going well. 
I guess is a slight annoyance is you have to remove a lot of things from a lot of places to get to the thing that you need and quite usually that's at the back of the truck so I've learned over the year to be uh, quite what is it specialized streamlined I put things where I need them when I can grab them straight up and those things that I don't use on a regular basis I shove at the front of the truck if we ever have a flat we pull over somewhere safely I've got some LED flares coming as I said so we can pop them out stay visible fluoro vest inside the inside the cab of the truck we both throw on so we stay visible and we stay safe and we just crack on and get the tire changed as quickly as possible right we're going to continue on i'm going to drag everything out of the pass through and i'm just going to give you a brief rundown of what it is why i like it what it's there for its purpose is it a good thing is it a bad thing in my humble opinion Right, this is my pass through. Um, this stuff on the other side, I'll drag that out once we've done this. In no particular order, I won't show you how I organize it, which is best fit. The things that I need straight up are at the front. I always have tools, some tie straps, um, big plug to my mum, she sent me a hat, it's got a little LED light on it, love you mum, use it all the time. Um, big hammer and a screwdriver, if you can't fix it with that, then you're really in a bad way. I carry screws, washers, nuts, bolts, all that sort of thing in a handy dandy, let's keep it organized, container. Ace hardware bucket, I carry project so my tiny brain goes, oh I want to do that. Let's assemble everything in one patch and keep some other stuff in there too. I have some steel flashing that I'm going to line my wheel wells with. Why would I do that? One, I saw Steve Lawhead do it and it looks like a really good project and stop all that Darko getting beat up from all the road debris and I carry some spare filters and some sharp bites in case I have a big plumbing failure which I haven't yet because my Cougar is rock solid. This is where you'll probably go shock horror. Husky bins, absolutely love them. This is baking trays because you need them spare parts and bits and bobs I carry spare valves because if one goes you're gonna need to fix it immediately I've got two of them actually spare plumbing additional valves shower heads just stuff that I need I love keeping stuff on hand you never know when you're gonna need it you never know where I'm gonna be so that's just my that's the way I run things. Place for everything, everything in its place. Uh, redundancy, all the rest of it. Another little husky tub. And all those things you don't want to leak, so I keep dirty grease guns and grease in there. This sits right at the front next to my tools. Uh, slide lube and BO sheet. That's like really good WD-40 but I haven't noticed much of a difference. Some die core for the roof and some silicone and a corking gun. Always keep some of that handy. This is my electrical box. I love keeping things in little boxes. Just knock my coffee over so I'm not happy. Grr. Extension cords, the like. Keeps them nice and handy. Got to have the electric drill and the impact driver, spare tie down, tie wrap straps, glass cleaner, fix a roof, fix a roof, just spares. Spares that I don't use every day, but things that when I want them, I want to grab them. I don't want to be doing this. And as my old mate Steve says, to get it done, get it fixed, and go on with the journey. Just chill the 
other side, the pass through, and going from furthest in to furthest out. Um, we have suitcases because at some time we will have to leave the country and we will have to try and pack everything up in our suitcases. Ha ha! Black stool, you've seen these. They are awesome. It's our Anderson kit with our ramps, the change of tyre, the little pads. I have some Lego bricks for levelling up when we only need to go uh, a little bitty, bitty way. I have some tyre protectors. I've used them once and they are an absolute pain in the... We have a laundry bag and or a garbage can. It's got our coaxial cable for our TV. Um, what is that called? Satellite. Satellite. We don't use it. We don't watch TV. The AL x chocks you'll ask why they're not on there. Uh, when I turned up it was cold and wet and rainy and the other side of the van's a puddle so I'm not doing it. And with the new brand new Anderson trailer jack blocks it's nice and stable. Bit of patriotism there. Like putting them up. I think it's a bit of fun. But garbage bags. Always have spare garbage bags. This is everything I need to start a campfire. It's got lighters and starter blocks, matches, cubbies. These cubbies I live in some days. I got them from Ace Hardware. I can't even remember now. They were $15 second hand. Good hot wash and they come up like new. So when you're grotting around doing maintenance, you don't get your normal CV wardrobe all messed up. What else? This box, I just keep my Blue Ox weight distribution chains in there. I don't leave them outside. Oh, there's nail polish on there. That's for um, when we have a senior moment, it's where do we put the the chains to get the correct amount of weight distribution. I've uh, got another box only because I don't like throwing stuff out and I keep lots and lots of little barbecue one pound things. In the blue box is everything we need to barbecue. So there you go. A lighter, an apron one pound propane bottle and some pan olive oil and something to make the kitchen the barbecue table look really nice you don't have a lot of space in the 22 rbs it's only 22 feet we live in it full time that's how we keep organized when we're on the road as we wander and move around this great country we do have a suspension issue which we're going to deal with when i get to alpine at the end of the week the bushes in the front and rear Spring hangers have cracked, I don't know why, but we'll do a movie on that to show you how we prep and remove that. So that's about it. The sun's coming out, which is really nice. Lee's gonna start doing some more editing. Um, and with all our videos, um, give us a like, give us a thumbs up, hit that subscribe notification. Then you'll get, um, get updates sent to you on your magic little phone and you can follow us as we make our way around for our second year of travel. If this year's anything like last year, it's going to be a ton of fun and I'm really excited for it. Cheers now.